Boren? Here. Bauk? Here. Bowers? Here. Decker? Here. Gisha? Here. Hannah? Here. Heidemann? Here. Koth? Here. Kittleson? Here. Kleinus? Excused. Montemayor? Here. Rinfleisch? Here. Zurich? Here. Vanderweel? Here. Vu? Here. And Wangaman? Here. 15 present. We have a quorum. If everybody can please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everybody. Uh, Alderman Bourne would like to say a word. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor Ryan. Uh, I just wanted to let everybody know, in case you're not aware of it, our colleague, our older person, Clay Eunice, is in a Milwaukee hospital uh, recovering from a procedure. And when I talked to Jean last week, she thought she would be home mid to late week. Uh, let's, all keep her, let's all keep her in our thoughts and prayers. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Bourne. And please, everybody, do keep uh, older person Clay Eunice in your thoughts and prayers. Okay. Um, moving on here. We do have uh, an executive summary that has been handed out to all of the aldermen. And if, uh, Terry, if you'd like to review the executive summary, this is the, the, the short version of the budget as it stands right now. I will have a few comments along with President Gisha after uh, our uh, Director of Finance is finished. Terry? All right. Um, you all have a copy of the executive summary and basically laid out all of the um, items that were resolved by the council as far as a goal 10 budget and, and beyond and then also the specific guidelines for the 2010 budget. Um, the goals and objectives, the, city, um, the 2010 budget did reach the 80 fund expenditures. That was one of the goals and objectives placed before the administration. Then there was a $236,787,000 reduction in the utilization of fund balances in the general fund. And then there was also a $440,000 reduction of reliance on one-time one -time revenues in, in the general fund. So overall, there was um, $676,000 reduced from one-time revenues, in essence, in the general fund. And then there were also funds placed and made available for training programs for the employees in the 2010 budget. Another item, um, item number five under the goals and objectives. Under the guidelines, the tax rate for 2010 remains the same as it was in 2009 at approximately $8.36. $8 and um, we also have $2, or $2 million worth of capital improvements. Um, programming budgeted for 2010, and those projects will be determined by, by the Capital Improvement Commission in the upcoming months. And then, as the big item in the 2010 budget is a change in staffing, um, there are a total of 20 positions that were reduced in the 2010 budget. We had one out of the assessor's office, three out of engineering, three out of building inspection, two out of public works, but they were reassigned to wastewater, seven in the fire department, one was proposed by the department, and then six of the others are not replacing upcoming retirements, and then four positions in the police department. Um, then the finance committee met, and to sum up the changes that were done, there was a $228,000 reduction in the levy for the library, and that $228,000 was added to the general fund tax levy. And then the resulting shortage from that in the library fund and then the overage in the general fund was a, affected each fund's fund balance. So the fund balance went up in the general fund and the fund balance went down in the library fund. Then there were minor housekeeping changes in the general fund and the library fund and the wastewater fund. Thank you, Terry. Uh, the, the budget as, is, as it is being passed this evening does include these cuts. However, we, have, we are currently um, in contract negotiations with our various unions in the city. We do have three tentative agreements that we have reached that still need to be ratified. Uh, the tentative agreements right now are in fire. Our uh, 
police officers union and the uh, police supervisors. Uh, speaking of the, the reduction in staff uh, regarding our negotiations, um, provided that these are ratified, we can make some adjustments in our staff reductions. Uh, fire in particular, right now, um, the fire department has agreed to uh, some give backs to the city regarding former pay increases. They have also agreed, agreed to buy in on the deductible of our insurance, uh, which will save us a significant amount of money also. Um, with some other uh, revenue enhancing uh, proposals that they are making, uh, it is possible that we may not have to close a fire station and uh, may not have to reduce that staff um, as is now set in the budget. But this all, this all depends upon ratification of these contract agreements. We also have uh, two other agreements in place that need to be ratified, and we, have, we are making progress on the others. So a lot of what we are seeing here um, on these numbers this evening can be adjusted uh, according to contract negotiations. Regarding the library and the $228,000 decrease from the library budget um, and uh, return to the general fund, we also have an agreement in place with the library that the library returns $459,000 to the city. Um, the city assumes some of the uh, future liability of, uh, of the, uh, uh, some future liabilities of the library and then a portion of that will be returned back to the library to meet the maintenance of effort. Therefore, the library uh, will not be under the maintenance of effort for this year, and we will not have to worry about uh, cutting $228,000 and possibly having to fund more than that on the, on the backside if we were to be expelled from the Eastern Shores library system. So these are all, uh, all uh, fluid at the moment. Uh, I do expect the agreement to be completed this week with the library. And uh, hopefully our, uh, we can get some uh, ratifications on our, on our union contracts. And hopefully a lot of these, uh, we also have uh, building inspection working on some revenue enhancement programs. Hopefully we can avoid a lot of the, uh, a lot of the uh, loss of positions in the city um, with holding the line on the, uh, on the uh, tax rate. And that's the whole idea. We, we came into this saying that we did not want to increase the tax rate, and we are not going to increase the tax rate. Hopefully through negotiations, we can also keep uh, most of our positions funded on top of it. Alderman Gisha, did your, President Gisha, did you have anything? Sure. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. I uh, reiterate a lot of what you, what you said, and just wanted to add a thank you to the uh, Finance Department and the Finance Committee I don't know, one meeting was about four and a half hours, and the rest were countless uh, hours in the back room with Terry's team and uh, members of the Finance Committee. <clears throat> it's been an interesting change in dynamic with this budget. The discussions have turned to revenue producing, which is great, which is an unusual uh, change for government, and a lot of that goes to the thanks of our city employees. Uh, who've pitched in and participated, uh, and our citizens, who uh, I think have participated more than any budget I've ever uh, been involved with to date with the city. Uh, the department heads have uh, stepped up in a very difficult situation. You look at the uh, potential um, layoff scenarios, and it, it affects a lot of our departments, and it's difficult on the department heads, and they've been, they've been great team members. Um, I do want to mention that a lot was said about the the environmental service fees, and as you can see, there's a document that we'll be voting on tonight, or at least filing, that has removed those things from the budget. And uh, there was a lot of community discussion, and I think community discussion is excellent. And, uh, and uh, I want to commend the mayor and his team for bringing that proposal forward. Like it, hate it, don't have an idea about it. It, it, it started a discussion that wasn't our normal status quo, which is just what this city's gonna need to do better in years to come. That was not business as usual, and, and, and that's what shook things up, and uh, it took guts to do that. And I appreciate uh, those kind of guts. It engaged the community, and I think the community's better off for having done that, and I know that you and your team, Mayor, had nothing but the long-term best interests of the city at heart, and you should be commended for bringing it forward. And I think a lot of other ideas percolated out of that that we'll be able to uh, 
dig our teeth into through the years. So, um, and regarding um, positions and contracts, as I'm on the negotiation committee, I, uh, I cannot get real specific except to say that our uh, union partners have been very interested in the dialogue we've had. I think they understand the situation and I think with what is developing out of that, we will be able to, uh, to uh, make the decisions to, to deal with some of these potential layoffs perhaps differently and I would suggest that we would on prioritization of services and I think we'll hear more of that from the mayor as these numbers become vetted out. We have an idea how much money we're talking about. So what to expect over the next couple of months I think involves that money uh, or potential money as a lot of these aren't ratified and on the union side they're tentative agreements. And I think we're gonna see some changes in the city budget over the next couple of months regarding some of these personnel things and uh, I think the council should be prepared for that. I just want to let them know it's a fairly fluid situation that um, we, we will need to revisit some of these, definitely, these areas of cuts, and we'll have the ability to revisit thanks to, thanks to those who are stepping forward. Um, I will single out specifically, although they've all been great to this point, the fire department union for being the one to break the ice and to uh, come forward in the best interest of the city. I'm not shilling for him. We had some pretty heavy duty, uh, <laughs> aggressive discussions, uh, let's say, but in the end, um, uh, I wanna thank them for, the, for doing that. So more to come over the next two months, I guess I wanted to mention, and um, uh, I think uh, some of that will be involved the entire council and all the committees. Thank you. Thank you, President Gisha. I'd also like to thank uh, um, on the, on the uh, environmental services fee, um, especially, uh, uh, Finance Director Hansen and also Dave Lutz in our City Assessor's Office. Uh, we spent many, many hours on that. Granted, it wasn't successful. However, it gives us some guidelines that we can uh, sink our teeth into in the future, as, uh, as President Gisha said. Also, uh, regarding this entire budget, I will be the first uh, person to admit that I am not a numbers guy. I never have been. Uh, that's why we have Terry here. And uh, he's put in numerous, uh, countless hours on this budget. And uh, it's been interesting to uh, sit down with all the department heads and Terry and to uh, watch his reactions sometimes. I can tell when he's uh, having a good day and when he's not. And when, I, when, he, when a, a big number comes up that was not expected and he puts his head down, when his head comes back up, if his eyes are beat red, I know it's a very, uh, I know it's a, uh, it's a very important situation that we're in right then. And then as his eyes clear up, I know that he's got it all figured out. So it's, uh, it's been interesting. I think Terry, he's put in... Uh, a lot of time on this, and uh, he, he definitely deserves the, uh, there's, deserves the accolades of uh, the entire city. Moving on, we have uh, Report of Committee 7, SP 4-1 by Finance recommending filing documents relating to the environmental fee, storm water slash residential solid waste system, user fees. President Gisha. Uh, motion to file, please. Second. We have a motion and a second under discussion. We have a roll call, please. Bourne? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rindfleisch? Aye. Sirk? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Vu? Aye. And Wangaman? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. Report of Committee 6. SP 4-2 by Finance recommending filing various documents. President Gisha. Thank you, Your Honor. Motion to uh, accept and adopt the RC. Second. Motion and a second under discussion. No discussion. Roll call, please. Falk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Surik? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Vu? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. And Boren? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. Matters laid over. We have 1635 through 1648, which are all recommendations back from standing committees regarding the budget. President Gisha. Motion to accept and adopt 1635 through 1648. Second. We have a motion and a second on the floor under discussion. Alderman Sir. Okay, thank you, Mayor. I, um, I know there are a number of documents here. I'm, uh, for example, I, I don't quite understand what the procedure should be, but for example, under Protection and Safety, we, uh, when the budget was presented to that committee, 
The motion was to stun the council with no recommendation, and that was passed unanimously. Also, in law and licensing, when the budget was brought up before law and licensing, we passed it with reservations. I think there were two concerns. One was the was the charging of uh, the city attorney's office with IT charges and, and charging uh, funds to uh, that particular department to for retirement. So I don't know how that goes in the mix. I mean, we're asking being to vote on the whole series of documents, but uh, does an I vote say we, we accept uh, the finance department's recommendation or do we bring up the other issues the other, the other committees have, and, and have I vote forward. would be to pass all of the documents. Uh, if you'd like to pull any out for individual votes, that may be done also. Okay. Correct? Alderman Sirk, basically all of these RCs came from the standing committees, so you on law and licensing or you on whatever committee made a recommendation with, you know, whatever it was, all you're doing by accepting and adopting is what you have said in your committee. You're accepting and adopting that this is what the committee has reported. Okay, thank you. It's not an amendable thing. It would be something that you just accept and adopt as a report of your committee, whichever one you're on. Okay. Because I do have some questions on the budget itself, and I think probably we'll talk about it later. So, mm -hmm. okay, thank you. Thank you, Alderman Sirk. We have Alderman Bowers. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. Yeah, in regards to Alderman Sirk's question in public uh, protection, I, I'm going to offer an amendment on SP4 uh, regarding the building inspection department. So, uh, we're, we're not there yet. Point of order, we can't amend RC. Yeah, and we're not there yet. We're still back in the matters laid over, Alderman Bowers. Mm -hmm. uh, SP4 right. will be coming up on. Uh, in oh, the, okay, so. Just a little bit later. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Do we have any further discussion on 1635 through 1648? If we have none, do we do a roll call on this? Mm -hmm. Roll call, please. Bowers? Yes. Thank you. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Surik? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Vu? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? And Bulk. Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. Report of Committee 7. SP4 3 by finance met regarding RC number 328 09 10, stipulating that the 228000 in the general fund that was moved from the library fund tax levy can be transferred back to the library fund in 2010 to meet the maintenance of effort for the library and further discuss the 2010 budget and recommends the changes in the mayor's executive budget for fund 101 and 605 and to make various changes. President Gisha. Motion to accept and adopt the RC. Second. I have a motion and a second under discussion. All the person months, Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I was glad to hear the words of you, Mr. Mayor, this evening and Alderman Gisha regarding uh, some of the positions that may end up being saved by the work of the, of the union concessions. As a result of the words that you said and the words that Alderman Gisha said, I will support tonight's budget because you have said that you are going to look at keeping some of these positions and the library maintenance of, maintenance of effort. Because remember, we as council, our purpose is to give as many benefits and services to the community as possible with the amount of money we have. They are the company and we, they are the, uh, the customer. We need to provide as much as we possibly can. So I'm taking you at your word and Alderman Gisha at his word. Thank you, Alderperson Montemayor. And, and may I add that it's not only uh, through the, the work of, uh, of, of negotiating with our, our labor unions. It's also a, a lot of it is staff, a lot of it is our department heads, our management that uh, have also come up with these agreements. Any further discussion? <clears throat> Roll call, please. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Zurich? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Vu? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. And Bowers? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. Reports of committees 8. SP4-4 by finance recommending ordering the 2010 budget appropriations for the city of Sheboygan funds and passing the attached substitute resolution. President Gisha. Thank you, Your Honor. Motion to accept and adopt the RC and pass the substitute resolution. 
Second. We have a motion and a second under discussion. Alderman Bowers. Thank you, Mayor Wright. At this time, I'd like to uh, add to uh, amend the budget regarding the bu uh, billing inspection department. Uh, I, I've uh, gone over some of these fees, and I believe that we, with the increase in fees and other things, that we can save uh, three positions in the billing inspection department. So, uh, if there's any questions, uh, Paulette uh, Edwards could answer them, and uh, maybe I could answer them too. If there's any questions by the council. Excuse me, Alderman Bowers. Are you looking to amend the substitute resolution? Yes. And that will be was... reported back to committee and the Public uh, Protection Committee. Analyze the, the figures. Okay. You want to amend the substitute resolution regarding building inspection. Right. To do what? To be sent back to Public uh, Protection so that we can analyze the figures and increase the figures that uh, are not currently in the budget. We have to get a second before we can discuss it. Okay. Um, may we have a second for purposes of discussion? Second. We have a second. President Kisha. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. Um, there has been a plan that's been kind of knocked around for the last few days. It has not been vetted by the Finance Department. Maybe this goes back to the fluid situation that we discussed earlier. The potential, as we talked about, to change the potential layoff scenarios does exist. Uh, we have no plan that's been vetted by the Finance Department. I checked as early as uh, 4 o'clock this afternoon to be sure. Um, Perhaps this would be better contained in round two of, of potential discussions. We, we have no labor agreement with that group. We don't have a lot of things that would factor into this. Also, if I could suggest that if, if uh, for purpose of clarification, I believe building inspection is under the finance department. Public protection and safety would be, would not be, uh, uh, is that the appropriate committee for it to go back to? Building inspection is under public protection and safety. It is under public protection. Mm -hmm. It seems rather odd, doesn't it? Uh, <laughs> it is. But, but thanks. Uh, so I, I would suggest that we, we not do this. And it, we have nothing to vote on. We have no financial plan. We have no, nothing vetted by the finance department to see if it even works or not. We'd be betting on air. Uh, if, I, if I may add, uh, we met uh, with uh, um, Paul Ed Enders, who is the department head for building inspection. Uh, I believe we finished up at uh, 5 o'clock this afternoon again. We are going to be meeting on this all Friday uh, to, to work out a plan with building inspection and to come up with some solid numbers. We do have some preliminary numbers, which I do have here. However, a lot of it needs to be, uh, needs to be vetted out, uh, that we can come up with a plan uh, for building inspection, that hopefully we can retain some of those positions. However, there's a, lot of, uh, there's a lot of work to be done in order to verify that all of these numbers are going to, to meet the goals that we need to meet. And so that's, uh, that is part of our fluid situation that we have here, and uh, that's where it is at right now. Alderman Sir. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I'd like to say this, there is no round two in terms of discussion this evening. If we approve this budget, it's set. Now, we can right. talk about what could happen, negotiations, what can do here and there, but my concern, I do have concern with the numbers, and, and I don't know, if we, would this be appropriate time, Terry, to address the? You need to stay on the amendment right now. Can we? We're on, on the amendment, the amendment? proposed okay. by Alderman Bowers right now. Okay, well, I reserve my time later on. Thank okay. you. Okay, thank you. Next we have Alderman Hanna. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And I've seen some of the preliminary numbers, and I'm glad that you're venting the process. I think that's excellent. And if Alderman Gisha would like building inspection under finance, <laughs> and, and if he's willing to take the sex offender residency with it, yeah. um, as, as chair of public protection and safety, I would be happy to transfer those responsibilities. OK, do we have a second on that? No. <laughs> Thank you, Alderman Hanna. Next, uh, we have uh, Alderman Rindfleisch. Uh, thank you, Mayor Ryan. Um, I, I agree that we definitely need to look at uh, 
the negotiations that's, that's or the discussions that are in play right now at saving that. Uh, number three on our uh, resolution established previously about our goals and objective is neighborhood needs. Special attention is warranted in increasing inspections and expanding code enforcement. So I think by uh, laying that department off, we're going in the opposite direction. So I urge you to continue your efforts and I thank you for doing so. Uh, and also in terms of negotiations, um, uh, Alderman Cirque is correct when we there is no round two when we're passing this budget. We're passing the number and we're passing the appropriations. Um, but ultimately we're passing the number. Appropriations can change. We're simply setting aside where money goes, but, we're, but it's not carved in stone yet. That's, that's the amount. What we're actually setting is, is the next step is step five where we're establishing a tax levy uh, and the amount of money and expected revenues we're bringing in and the amount of expected outlays we're going to have going forward as well. In short, though, what that means is that any, to save those positions, unfortunately, it means there has to be enough revenue generated to balance out whatever budget we pass today. We can't change the budget once it's passed today. So I urge that that continue on. Uh, and uh, for those constituents that were very concerned and asked me to not vote on the budget because of this particular issue, um, I say that you know, we'll be continuing to look at it because it's, it's still, as you say, fluid. Uh, the total budget number will be set tonight, but if we, long, we can increase the revenues uh, within that department um, to offset any layoffs I'm before that. Thank you. And, and there can be budget amendments in the future also. Next, uh, Alderman Bowers, did you want to speak again on this? Alderman thank, Bowers. Thank you, Mayor. Well, I would like to add, uh, will the, when you meet Friday, will the Public uh, Protection Committee be invited to that meeting or is this out of our hands no, now. Any, no, anything that has come up with, that we come up with meeting, will be referred um, to public protection and safety for the next public protection and safety meeting for discussion. Okay, so then we're not closing the door where uh, the budget's passed tonight and uh, these positions will be eliminated or the money's... Right, right. I mean, the idea is to continue these discussions. We are setting a, as Alderman Rinfleisch said, we're, we're setting the, the tax rate this evening. Uh, we are setting what we know of for expenses and revenues at this point this evening. If we can come up with some enhanced revenues through building inspection, through uh, rental inspections, through code enforcement, et cetera, uh, that we will come up with. And at that point, that will be going to public protection and safety. We'll come back to the council. Obviously, we'll have to go through finance again, correct? Yes. And uh, we'll come, we will come through with a, uh, with a budget amendment in order to preserve those positions, add that revenue to the, to the budget, and to move forward and, uh, and uh, get some of these inspections done that we so sorely need in this city. Thank you. Alderperson Montemayor. Um, thank you again, Mr. Mayor. And I want to thank Alderman Rindfleisch for his information that he gave to us now. And again, I want to reiterate, it's hard to vote for specific, these specific cuts, which we are evidently not doing, because voting for these specific job cuts reduces services to the taxpayers a lot. So Alderman Rinfleisch, I assume, is correct in that we are not voting for specific job cuts. I believe you are correct. Thank you. Thank you. Alderman Hanna, once again. Just a, just a point of clarification, Mayor. When it comes back, let's say it comes back to Public Works, back through Finance, when it does come back, then it's a two-thirds vote to amend? Correct. Okay, thank you. Which will mean that it will be a good program that by the time it gets yes. back. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Alderman Hanna. Next we have President Gisha. Uh, just as a reminder, with the budget, you can have round two through three. 2,000 is with a two-thirds vote. We did it last year several times. It's the way it works. We are setting the rate. That'll be another document uh, coming forward. But we, I just want to remind everyone who's watching or listening that we have a state statute that mandates us to have a balanced budget. Unlike the state, or perhaps the school system, you can't just borrow money to patch hole, to patch holes, financial holes in your budget. So. If the suggestion is move four hundred thousand dollars into uh, into the building inspection budget tonight, that four hundred thousand would have to come from someplace else. Right. So you can't just do one without the other, without this. So it, it's a balancing act, but we do have a statutory requirement to balance the budget, not just add money because there because where do you add it from? So uh, just as clarification for people wondering how this works. In statutory. Uh 
uh, requirement aside, it's, it's, a, it's good practice to have a balanced budget. <laughs> yes. but, thank you, President Gisha. Alderman Rinflesh? Yeah, final comment. Um, uh, technically, the budget as passed would have those layoffs unless down the road uh, offsets are found. Uh, so uh, just to clarify, Alderman Montemayor's is that if, you know, what passing right now is what is in the budget with those layoffs unless we find offsets to, to keep them down the road. So yes and no to answer uh, the Alderman's question that uh, uh, you are voting for them, but they can be changed down the road. And as Alderman Keisha said, we did change it a lot. What we can't change, though, is our tax levy in the next year. We can only change right. you know, the revenues with offsets. So this is, this is your last so, chance to raise taxes if you'd like to. <laughs> this would be it tonight. Um, the original reason I, I punched in, though, was to uh, withhold or withdraw my second of the motion at this time. Okay. Uh, but I want to tell everyone I was done speaking before I did so. so. Very good. <clears throat> Thank you, Alderman Rinfleisch. Can we have Alderman Bowers withdraw? Uh, Alderman Bowers, would you like to withdraw your motion at this point on the amendment? <clears throat> yes, I'll withdraw the motion. Very good, sir. Okay, any further discussion? We have roll call, please. And this will be on the original RC accepting and adopting and passing the substitute resolution. Everybody okay on that? Gisha. Aye. Hannah. Aye. Heidemann. Aye. Koth. Aye. Kittleson. Aye. Montemayor. Aye. Rinfleisch. Aye. Zurich. No. Vanderweel. Aye. Vu. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Bowers? No. And Decker? Aye. 13 ayes, 2 noes. Motion carries. SP4-5, by finance, recommending ordering the 2010 budget appropriations and the 2010 tax levy for use during the calendar year 2010 budget and passing the attached substitute resolution. President Gisha. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, motion to accept and adopt the RC and pass the substitute resolution. Second. We have a motion and a second under discussion. No discussion. Roll call, please. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Zurich? No. Vanderweel? Aye. Vu? Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Excuse me? Excuse aye. me? Did you say aye, Alderman Bowers? Pardon? Did you say aye? Yes. Thank you. Decker? Aye. And Gisha? Aye. 14 ayes, one no. Motion carries. Motion to adjourn. We have a motion to adjourn and a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? We are adjourned. Thank you, everybody.